Uh, my name is Ian Black, the lead biomed here at Med1. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the Carefusion Alaris uh, system. It's the PC unit, uh, also known as the brain. And this model is the 8015 with the color display. And I'll just be walking through the configuration of it and how to change clinical settings on it. The first uh, feature we'll see here is you have your IUI connectors on the right and the left side. This will allow you to uh, connect the uh, Laris 8100 pump to it. Uh, you can actually connect two to each side giving you four pumps. And then you can also connect your syringe pumps and PCA modules and SpO2 modules to it. Uh, the first options we're going to go into is your clinical settings and to get into that menu you're going to hit your system on key and while doing that you're going to hold your options key and that's going to bring you into your configuration menu. In this menu you'll be able to change uh, your clinical settings for your patient care. Um, we have our shared infusion settings where you can change those uh, PC unit, pump module, SpO2 module, and if we page down, you'll see you can go into your syringe module and ETCO2 module. In each one of those menus, menus you'll be able to change uh, certain settings to treat your patients just right. And then we'll go ahead and exit out of here. And the next menu I want to show you is actually the maintenance menu. To get into the maintenance menu, you're going to hold down your tamper switch and power on the unit at the same time. This is going to put you into maintenance mode. You'll notice the message on the screen. It's not for human use. Uh, just making sure you're not hooked up to a patient while this is on. Uh, we'll go to proceed. And in this maintenance mode, you'll be able to view your maintenance uh, when your next uh, PM preventive maintenance is due. You can actually look at your log file maintenance and display any error logs. As you see, you'll have our PC unit here, uh, serial number next to it. And once we attached our 8100 module, and once that reads from the brain, we'll actually be able to view uh, any log maintenance on there and any uh, error codes that we receive. 